Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look and discuss which are the best slim Victoria Knox Swiss Army knives for urban EDC, that's everyday carry. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks. So what I have in front of me are two Swiss Army knives from Victoria Knox. These are medium sized knives. This is the Victoria Knox Spartan. It's a two layer knife. And this is the one with walnut wood scales. And we have the Victoria Knox Climber, which is a three layer knife. And this has the Celador scales. So these would not generally be considered slim Swiss Army knives. They are medium sized, still very pocket friendly and portable, but at least I don't consider them slim. These are also 91 millimeter models. So I will be looking at slimmer models than these in this particular video, but I will be looking at knives that have at least more than one tool. So I'm not looking at single blade options like the Victoria Knox one. I'll also not be looking at the small keychain size knives. These are the 58 millimeter knives. So I'm not going to look at these as well. But before I show you my picks for the best slim Swiss Army knives for Urban EDC, let me know what are your personal choices. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The first knife we'll have a look at is the Victorinox Bantam. This has black nylon scales, uh, different from the red Celador scales. Now this particular knife is 84 millimeters and it's actually at one time issued to all recruits of the Singapore Armed Forces. So it's really endorsed by the SAF. Now I personally never got this, this is way after my time. And it's a very simple, I guess you call it the officer's style knife. And it's got only uh, two main tools or at least two pieces with different tools and it's a single layer knife. You do have the main blade that you expect to get in all Swiss Army knives and then you have this combo tool. So the combo tool has a, a screwdriver, a cap lifter and wire stripper and both the tools here have a great half stop. It's a great excellent back spring as well. There are uh, two scales with these nylon scales as well as the Celador version. So that's always nice. And then there is a key ring over here. No back tools as you can see. So very slim. So let's have a look how slim this particular knife is. And that's 11 millimeters and that's about 0.46 inches. So very thin. Now there is the Alox version of this, which means it has metal scales, and that's even thinner, I believe at 8 mm. So that will probably be one of the slimmest Victorinox knives out there. But I don't have that. I have this uh, lightweight Bantam, and I think that's the keyword. It's really lightweight, it's really small, and it's got quite a bit of functionality. And I think uh, with the nylon scales, or not nylon, but the nylon scales, uh, you get that scratch resistance uh, more so than the Celador scales. And of course, even more lightweight. Now, what do you think of this particular uh, Bantam as a best slim Swiss Army knife? Or maybe you do prefer the Alox. Of course, with the Alox scales, you do not get the two scales. So that's my first pick. My next choice for a really good slim Swiss Army knife for Urban EDC is the Victorinox Waiter. So this is also a single layer knife, also 84 millimeters, but this has the red Celador scales. So it's much more shiny uh, and it's also more iconic in terms of the red for the Swiss Army knives. So it has the same main tools, the main blade, as well as the combo two, which is exactly the same as the Bantam. Now, what's different is the corkscrew. So there is a single back two in the form of a corkscrew over here. Uh, there's also the two scales uh, that you have in the Celador scales. But the main difference between these two, uh, besides the scales, would be this back to here. So what would you use this corkscrew for Urban EDC? Of course, the main intended purpose to open a uh, bottle of wine that requires uh, the removal of a cork. And that's probably why it's called the waiter as well. Uh, you can also use it to undo knots and that's probably how I would use it most of the time. If you've got uh, bags or rope paracord that's tied tightly and you just want to try to undo that knot without cutting the rope or the bag, you can use that as almost like a marling spike. 
Uh, there's also another uh, useful thing if you have an additional tool such as the mini driver or the optical uh, spectacle sort of uh, mini screwdriver that fits in over here which is very useful for urban EDC and I find that very useful and generally I always like to keep this mini driver with the tools which have the corkscrew. So let's have a look how thick this particular Victorinox is. So it's also 0.4 inches, also 11 millimeters. So basically it's the same thickness as the Bantam Maybe just a slight variance uh, under a millimeter, maybe because of the scales or just, you know, general uh, production standards. Uh, but there is that additional thickness if you consider the corkscrew over there. But still a very small, lightweight knife and I enjoy this a lot as well. I'll talk about one final tool which I think is the best limb Swiss Army knife for Urban EDC and that is this knife here. This is the Alox Cadet in black. Now the Cadet has actually four different um, tools. I won't say tools but at least components with multiple tools and because it's the Alox version it is really thin. Now this is the slimmer version of models such as the Recruit, Tinker Small, Tourist and Sportsman. Some of those have been discontinued and those really have the uh, normal or typical cellar dot scales so it is thicker than this particular one let's just see how thick the alox is and that's eight millimeters or 0.3 inches so as you can see very slim compared to even the bantam over here so if you're looking for something really slim this to me is really probably the perfect candidate. You get so much functionality, more functionality than the Bantam and the Waiter, but in a slimmer package. The only downside I'll say is you do not get any scale tools because they don't come with the Alox versions. Now, the standard versions uh, for the Cadet, uh, you can get the silver Alox. Uh, for the colored ones like this black one, you will have to kind of hunt it down and it would be a bit more expensive. But let's have a look at the tools. We have the main blade, of course, we do not have a combo tool, but in fact, we have kind of the standard tools uh, with traditional Swiss Army knives. We have a bottle opener, or cap lifter, screwdriver, wire stripper, and over here, a can opener, a smaller screwdriver, and that's about it. And then we do have one more tool over here, and this is a nail file. So th those are all the tools. Uh, or components of this single layer knife, uh, really sleek. Um, it's also pretty lightweight. I mean, all these knives are, I would say, lightweight. Of course, this will be the heaviest because it's metal, but still negligible. If you're to carry it in your pocket as Urban EDC, I don't think you're going to feel really any of these knives. So these are what I think are the best slim Swiss Army knives from Victoria Knox. If I were to choose one, I think... I would choose this if I was to carry an everyday carry and I really wanted a slim one. I do like the added functionality of the corkscrew and the uh, mini driver. Honestly, I do like the look of this Alox Cadet the best. Um, and I would also carry this, but then I can't have the scale tools and that corkscrew. So I think just from a practical standpoint, I would choose this. But if I was going with something to match a particular attire that I'm wearing or an EDC kit, uh, and this would be a better fit, then I would pick the Kadak Alox. What do you think of these best slim urban EDC Swiss Army knives? Uh, are any of these your favorites or do you have alternatives? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.